1,843 years after Christ, when the vision shall be fulfilled. As persuasive as you were today, our reach is not far enough. Joshua, you have the enthusiasm of a young man. It is both invigorating and irritating all at once. The inquiries pour in from every city up and down the eastern seaboard. You could preach in every church from here to the Florida Territory. Please bury me in Lowhampton next to my maple grove. Twice a day, still it would not fill the need. And see to it that my wife is provided for until the day of judgment. Well, the next step is expansion through the printed word. Publication will reach not just one set of ears, but countless eyes per page. We shall amplify your voice. Do not say, but I am a simple farmer. But I am a simple farmer. Who asked for help? Well, I had no idea it would be like this. The papers have heaped abuse of every sort upon your labors. Now we shall answer back, but on our own terms. I'm a tired old man. And I'm the owner of a printing press. We sent him a letter. Greetings, friends! <laughs> well, should know. He cannot travel, Joshua. He cannot travel. No, 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 of course not. Typhoid is serious. It's very serious. I know you have both put great effort into this occasion. It's the first time we will all be together in the same place with common purpose. Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, all understanding the Advent is near. So you shall meet them, and then you will return and tell William all about the conference. I would like to see him, just to give him a word of encouragement. Hello, dear friend. How are you feeling today? Uh, not much better, I'm afraid. Well, then I shall leave you two alone for a little while. But Joshua, only a few moments. He's not up to visitors. Of course, absolutely. Are you certain that you cannot ride in the carriage? I can make a marvelous bed for you in the back thick with blankets no. and the fresh air would... No, At Joshua. the conference, people could come to you. I was thinking we could arrange an area. No. Joshua, this is bigger than one man. This is God's power. Hundreds of pastors have awakened. You do not need me there. Yes. Of course. You're right. will be in my prayers. Thank you. Are you absolutely certain? Go. Go now. <coughs> Joseph Bates, as I live and breathe. How long has it been? Too long, Brother Himes, too long. <laughs> well, I have heard much of your work on temperance with the Christian connection, but you have made quite the name for yourself speaking on the evils of slavery as well. 
Am I about a humble servant, Joshua? God speaks and I obey. Uh, nonetheless, your reputation is well deserved. Is it true? Brother Miller could not make it? Yes, uh, typhoid fever. It, it is more than a shame. Oh, oh, Brother Bates, may I introduce you to Hiram Edson? Uh, you may know uh, Brother Edson through Pastor Finney. Oh, yes. Brother Finney's work on the causes of temperance and abolition are well known. Pleasure to meet you, sir. This is Owen Crozier. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I followed Miller's ideas since I heard him last year in New Bedford. As a sea captain, I've traveled the world, but today I was transported farther than across an ocean. I'm committing myself to the Advent message. I feel the same call, as do I. What is your name, brother? And where are you from? Samuel Snow, sir. I work for the investigator. I live here in Boston. You're not here doing an expose, are you? Uh, no, sir. Now, I will admit, I was a skeptic at first, but I have studied Miller's ideas, and I believe they hold a wonderful truth. The conference is finished, and yet I see the discussion continues. <laughs> I was just telling these good men that I am fully committed. Well, I'm so pleased to hear it. I'll share that with Father Miller when I see him. You may also share that I will put my money into spreading the Advent message. Oh, this is momentous news. <laughs> I mean to stand behind Father Miller and his work, not to start a new church, mind you, but to proclaim that the second Advent is near. So the conference was a success. It came from Maine, New York City, Connecticut, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. So many ideas were put forth. It was a real exchange of thought and enthusiasm. We have many pledges of financial assistance, and almost immediately we will do it again. Next time you will be a part of it, as will Joseph Bates. Bates, I recall meeting him last year. A tall fellow did not use any tobacco. Struck me as... Peculiar. Well, that he is, but he's going to be very important to us. We will have the resources now. More cities, more printing. Your words will touch many, many souls. Please, Joshua, remember, it is not our work, it is God's. Well, you have to give them credit. I do look very handsome. Why do they insist on making me so fat? So, how many people do you expect? It's the largest tent ever erected on American soil. It's been expanded to seat 6,000, and they are assembling plus more. Giant tents, what next? I'm the last person on Earth who saw this coming. I think you were one of the first. We must be on our way. There is a smaller meeting taking place. I wish to stop there first. But the giant tent, we are expected there. Joshua, the world is filled with expectations now. Not everything follows an exact plan. I told Brother Bates I would join him. But he should be at the big tent, too. 